Well, hello there, Aquarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius 4, the week of the 13th. If this one doesn't resonate so much, Aquarius, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotion, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. And I'm also running a three question $30 reading special. So you can find that in the description box. Okay. So we got a lot here to unpack already. We've got the four of swords Sometimes this means taking a break. Uh, it's more of a break than a breakup card. I need to gather up my thoughts. I need to figure things out. Maybe I'm doing a little healing here. You can see the broken heart next to her in that nest. She's in the fetal position. We've got Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Page of Swords is sometimes curiosity about someone, watching them, wondering what they're up to, thinking about a person, um, Checking out like their social media, maybe asking folks about them, driving past their house. So there's some curiosity here, along with confusion with the Seven of Cups. You can see he's trying to pick an option here. He doesn't know what to pick. Uh, it's sort of like cloudy and hazy. It's sort of like I don't see this situation clearly. I don't have enough information to make a decision. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. That can mean a brand new cycle with someone. It's also like valuing a connection, wanting to invest in it, give your time and energy. Um, so this is like a confusing situation and you may be on a break from this person or like you've energetically pulled back a little bit to do some thinking or they have. All right, let's check out this person. Okay, so this is the Lightseer's Tarot. I'm going to be using the Tarot of Mystical Moments to clarify. Four of Cups is a sense of like, I don't know what I want. I don't know what would make me happy. I'm out of alignment. Um, I think this person's kind of out of sorts. At the end, I'm going to pull a card for how they feel as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. Mm. And we got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. Knight of Cups, very romantic. It's someone pursuing you. Um, for a relationship. It's a dating card, a courtship card. Um, it's all wine and roses. I will say the Knight of Cups is sort of unreliable though. Um, can kind of like run in and out of situations. Mm -hmm. We've got the Four of Pentacles. You have a lot of fours here. Some of you may be seeing like 444. Four, four. Um, four of Pentacles is like holding back with you. They don't want to be vulnerable or open up. Ooh. All right. We've got the three of swords showing up here along with the five of Pentacles and the five of swords. All right. That's a little easier to take a look at. So do you feel like this person doesn't know what they want? We've got this five of swords. I'm up in my head. I can't make a decision. I don't know what to choose. Uh, maybe part of me wants to do one thing and part of me wants to do another. We've got this three of swords, which is heartbreak. It's heartaches, disappointment in love. Um, and the five of pentacles. I don't feel like I have what I want. I'm all alone. I'm isolated. I'm out in the cold. Maybe this person doesn't have good self-esteem. Um, maybe they feel like they don't make as much money or you, as you or like their health isn't as good or they may feel like less than for a reason. Not saying that you think that they're less than, but oh, two of cups in reverse. So the two of cups is a strong connection between two people. I think this is a confusing situation. You may feel like you take one step forward with this person and two steps back. You're out of alignment with each other, that two of cups in reverse, because they're kind of out of alignment with that four of cups. They don't really know what they want. See, two of pentacles. Um, two of pentacles can mean like you're, you're weighing your options or trying to make a decision. 
Another reading of that card is like you're very busy and you have a lot of balls in the air. It can also mean like wishy-washiness and that's what I sort of feel is going on here. Like this person is, is kind of all over the place. Okay. <laughs> The Ace of Swords in reverse here, and we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Swords in reverse is like there's a truth that hasn't come out yet. This person has something to tell you. Or it can mean like they're kind of oblivious and they haven't figured something out. Ace of Swords is usually like a revelation. It's information. Uh, seven of Pentacles is a desire to kind of fix this relationship or fix the situation. Okay. Six of Pentacles, they want to invest in you. Okay, so if you take a look, like she's giving, pouring the tea into one cup as well as the other. It's like, I'm going to give to you and I'm going to give to you. Uh, we're investing in one another. I also think with the Ace of Swords here, like there's some tea to spill here. There's some tea that you haven't gotten. What is up with this person? Oh, we've got the hermit Virgo energy. They may like disappear on you or it's like there's a wall there and they kind of go within and you feel like you can't even follow them into that. Um, like they're kind of trapped there. Got the five of cups. They've got regrets about the past. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. They haven't emotionally detached from you. So this person has feelings for you, but I also think that they're up in their head and they maybe feel like they're not right for you or they don't have enough to offer you. Um, and I do think it's confusing because I do think like they'll come out and they're they're all up in your, you know, your face. They want to be with you. And then they like run away because they can't deal with it. I feel like it's both. Um, and I do think this is confusing. All right, let's do feelings. Let's do something that they're thinking or that they need to say. So how does this person feel about you? Ooh, okay. We've got the Knight of Pentacles and there it goes. Okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles and it showed up with the King of Swords. I think the deal is, is this person would like to make you an offer. I think that they want to invest in this connection, but I do think it's like they're talking themselves out of it. Maybe they feel like they're not enough. They feel like this wouldn't work. Um, they could have some self-esteem issues or it's like, I don't make as much money as I should or you know, something tangible and physical here with all the pentacles showing up. Let's do thoughts. I wondered how far this would go. I don't know what to say. Can't come where I'm going. You'll notice that there's a lot of shadow oracles here. Um, the black and white ones are called in the shadows. It's someone who, well, they've got a lot to deal with here. I want you. I pretend you don't mean that much, but clearly you do. I don't need your approval. It's kind of a childish sentence. Or that's meant for like their parents or I don't know, someone who would disapprove of this like relationship with you. Next time I will listen to my intuition. This person wants to be with you. I think they're planning on that with that Knight of Pentacles. They would like to make you an offer here. Maybe like their family disapproves or your family disapproves or they think that like in some way they wouldn't be enough for you. I don't know. It's take this as it resonates. Um, this person does have feelings for you, but they're kind of going back and forth here. And I do think it's kind of driving you crazy. 
All right. Um, thank you so much for watching Aquarius. If you want your own reading, you can find that in the description box. I'm running that three for $30 uh, question reading. And if you want to join me in the extended, click the join button. All right. Blessed be.